So today's column, Mr. Aaron Torres, did you get a chance to uh, check it out? I did. It was very good. Thank you very much. That's deadspin.com. And the column basically was that nobody, once the NBA, if and when it gets restarted, has more to lose than LeBron James. Nobody else in the entire league. This is about LeBron James. He needs this more than anybody. I don't care who you could point to in the NBA. LeBron needs to be holding that trophy high. Even if you want to call it a Mickey Mouse championship in Orlando, no matter what you want to call it, LeBron James needs to win the title. There's so many things going against him and why it's imperative that LeBron wins. If he doesn't, he will be considered the biggest loser. He will be considered uh, this as an opportunity lost and one that he can't afford to lose, especially being as long in the tooth as LeBron James is. 35 years old, 17 years in the league. No one knows what the future holds. Here's the reasons why LeBron and nobody else needs to win the NBA championship. When The last time we looked, the Lakers were 49 and 12. They were rolling. Le- LeBron was playing great. They had just beaten the uh, Bucks and they had beaten the Clippers. They were rolling. Everybody was like, oh, my God. They wanted to put LeBron in the... MVP conversation because of those back-to-back games that they won. Also, when you look at the landscape and what's going on, you don't know the story with Anthony Davis. Everybody says it's a done deal that he's going to sign. He could be a free agent. Nobody knows for sure. Will the Lakers be this good next year? Will LeBron be able to play at this level next year? All of those are question marks in year 18. Also, The Clippers, who are a contender, they're two big stars, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, who had nagging injuries. They should be healthy now. They haven't played in 10 weeks, almost three months. They're going to be even better, and they're deeper. What about Milwaukee and Giannis? Another contender in the way. But the difference between Giannis and Milwaukee and the Clippers and Paul George and Kawhi Leonard is, they're not at the end of the rope. Their window isn't closing. If those guys don't win this year, they can win next year. And guess what, LeBron, if you don't win, if you're not holding the Larry O'Brien trophy high at the end of the season, the Warriors get their guys back, Steph and Clay. Brooklyn gets its guys back. Durant and Leonard and 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 uh, Kawhi, uh, Kyrie Irving, those guys are back. You have more competition. The chances of winning. This will be a lost opportunity, Aaron Torres. If LeBron James doesn't win, he has to win more than anybody else. It will be a lost opportunity, and LeBron has a ton of pressure on him, and I have made this argument on my Saturday show with Arnie Spanier that I was kind of almost wondering, does he really want the season to continue? Because as you just said, it only takes a pulled hamstring for Anthony Davis or a twisted ankle for Avery Bradley, and the whole thing could blow up in smoke and they could lose and whatever. But when you when I read this column, and it, like I said, it was an excellent uh, column that you wrote today for Deadspin, I did think there is there is not any individual that needs this more than LeBron, but there is one entity that could be in worse position that could come out of this looking worse than LeBron, and that is Rob Guerra's Milwaukee Bucks. No, I'm just kidding. Rob doesn't like the Bucks. But no, he's a Lakers homer. I know. Oh, I oh I know. I follow him on Twitter. It's it's tough. It's tough when every single player in the NBA is a future Laker. Neither exactly. here nor there. We'll discuss that uh, in the fourth hour of the show. But the Bucks. Think about this, Rob. They made the Eastern Conference Finals last year. It was supposed to be Giannis's crowning moment, MVP of the league. He took the league by storm. People are saying he has already eclipsed LeBron and Katie and everybody as the best player in the league. What happens? 
He goes to the Eastern Conference Finals. He loses to the Raptors. Kawhi really shuts him down over those final couple games. And what happens? He goes to the podium, and he's already getting asked about his free agency in 2021. Well, guess what? This season, if he comes back, if he doesn't make the finals, it is only going to ramp up the pressure on both Giannis, but more importantly, the Milwaukee Bucks, because the Bucks, they're not the Lakers. They're not the Clippers. Players don't want to come to Milwaukee. Players don't want to be a part of that organization. And if that organization falls flat in the playoffs, the heat is going to be ramped up and the conversation will be on Giannis and whether he is headed for free agency, headed out of Milwaukee after next season. And if that happens, we all know the Bucks will never have another player the caliber of him unless they're lucky enough to draft him because they're not getting any free agents over there. Aaron, in the words of Chris Broussard, stop it! What? Giannis, it's about, it's only ab- about LeBron James. He's the one where the clock is ticking. His biological championship clock. Do you hear that? Tick, 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 tick. It is about LeBron. As long as that guy's in the league, it's about LeBron. It ain't about Giannis. No one's losing sleep about whether or not Giannis. There you go. Everyone in Wisconsin is losing minutes. sleep. They care more about losing Giannis than whether Jordan Love's going to take over your boy Aaron Rodgers. No. The whole state is terrified of losing Giannis. Are you kidding me? It is about LeBron James. And this could be if he doesn't win this year with as well as the Lakers have played and the pieces and everything that's happened, this might be his best last chance to win. This might Don't be- forget he has two more years after that. Do you think if LeBron doesn't win this year, he's going to win in year 18 or 19? I mean, it just it seems inconceivable. I think you're missing the point because Mother Nature, Father Time, I mean, is undefeated. It just is, and that's why it's more imperative that LeBron win. Giannis Giannis is a young guy. There's no guarantees leaving Milwaukee. Maybe somebody wants wants to join him and have beer and go bowling in (laughs) Milwaukee. Yeah, they have a bunch of bratwurst. Exactly, in a Packers game. You said said this is LeBron's best last chance. I agree this is the best chance. I am not disputing that. But the Bucks have so much more. Chris, you and Chris Broussard host this show every day. If the Bucks lose in the Eastern Conference Finals again, you are going to talk about Giannis leaving in 2021 for a full calendar year. It's indisputable. And the Bucks, you think about where that organization has been, where they're going. They have never since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar when he was Lou Alcindor. That was the last time they were this relevant. If they lose Giannis... It's a whole lot of uh, whoever they've had. I can't even think of the the Bucks players of my. Ch- it's a lot of Glenn Big Dog Robinson. You want to go so back? So you're saying you're saying because Giannis because they didn't go to the finals last year. I'm, oh my God, it's the end of the world. Or if he gets to the finals and loses this year to the Clippers, it's the end of the world. He's knocking on the door. Where are you going if you're Giannis? You're right there. You're gonna cut bait and run. Kawhi like just LeBron won a championship did? and left. Of course he could leave. But he, he was a rental player. He's made roots. He's the reason Milwaukee's on the NBA map. And it he's ain't, the it, reason they're going to be off That's different. It. It's, it's, a, it's different, but it's the same. Is The Bucks have so much more to lose. They cannot afford, if this season comes back, the Bucks better make the NBA Finals or that conversation will. It's already begun. Don't you remember last year when Giannis walked off the stage because people started asking him about it? Giannis, the nicest human ever, didn't even want to deal with it. Think about LeBron's legacy if he comes to L.A. and doesn't win a championship. It will be four years wasted. Or at least he got some movies done and the the, the shop and some other. I talk about Space Jam done. two like that. That's is that what it's up. called? Yeah, whatever the movie is. Uh that that's that's what LeBron's legacy will be, and that he didn't show up at Blaze Pizza when people <laughs> were sitting out in the sweltering sun. That's not what LeBron. LeBron needs to win a championship here to at least validate to stay in the conversation. He got smashed by Michael Jordan's documentary, and the last thing he could afford that the Lakers who ran away with the Western Conference and and uh, had this great year 
they don't wind up finishing the job and winning a championship. It will be a bad day, a bad legacy for LeBron James. He needs to win more than anyone. And that's really what the storyline will be as we go forward and if the NBA season gets restarted and if we're in Orlando uh, to finish up the season with a tournament. Really quick, if we do get Lakers, Bucks, Clippers, Bucks, do you still feel like it will be a tainted championship regardless of who wins it? I, I will count the championship. There's nothing else you can do. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in asterisks. I'm not one of those guys. I can still call it a Mickey Mouse championship because <laughs> right. it was at Disney World in Orlando, but that doesn't mean like that the year that the Spurs won in 99 during the 50-game season, they won. They had every opportunity as everybody else. If LeBron, people think, oh, you're just doing this because you're setting it up so if LeBron wins, you could poo-poo his championship. No, I'm not. LeBron needs this to go uh, four and six in his championships. And the worst thing could be that he actually gets to the championship and loses and becomes three and seven. LeBron would be better off not even getting to the finals if he can't win it because the seventh loss would definitely take him out of that conversation of uh, NBA uh, of NBA go. I think he is already out, and I'm sure it's something you and Chris have talked about a lot over the last month, but uh, it's fascinating. And, you know, the other thing that's setting up nicely for LeBron, and credit to your buddy Chris Broussard, he's the first person that I've heard say this, if we get a 1-16 through 16 format, it means that they might not have to see the Clippers until the actual NBA Finals. And I know that the Lakers, uh, uh, you know, the Clippers are second in the West and the Lakers have a better record than them. But the Clippers are the team that I think we all think could end up beating the uh, the Los Angeles Lakers. And so the way things would go in a 1-16 through 16 format is that the Clippers would actually be the 4 seed, the Lakers the 2 seed. They wouldn't have to see them until the Finals. Yeah, that's it. That definitely could be a possibility. Even though they, uh, the, the way the standings are right now, they might get knocked out by the Nets, and then we could have a real big story. <laughs> you think KD's right. coming back, huh? Uh, no, he's not coming back. I don't think he is. Not till next year. All right. Who has more to lose when the NBA returns than LeBron James? Let's hear from them. Let's hear from our uh, listeners, Aaron. All right. Mark in Sacramento, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What do you got, Mark? What's going on, gentlemen? Mark, how are you? Doing all right. How are you guys doing? You safe? All good, man. Yep. Thank you. Good, good. Um, This one's not even close, and no disrespect, Aaron, but it's LeBron and James by far. He has the most to lose because he's almost at the end. Giannis is going to leave Milwaukee anyway. Oh, you're pro- that dude's going to leave, man. We, we got NBA <laughs> insiders listening to this show. Okay. I appreciate that. Usually yeah. I go to Chris Broussard for all my NBA knowledge, but yeah, yeah. Mark, that, you got the that scoop. That dude's going to leave, man. They don't stay in Milwaukee. He's going to leave in about a year and a half, and I think I got the place he may go. That dude's going to go someplace where there's shooters, and Golden State's going to get rid of uh, uh, Draymond Green. That guy's going to play with those two shooters in the Bay Area. That's wow. what I think is going to happen 18 months from now. We'll remember that tape. we got to hold on to it. We appreciate that, Mark. Thanks so much for the support and the call. Joseph in Virginia, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Go ahead, Joe. Good evening, fellas. I'm going to have to agree with Aaron. And Thank there's you. There's a reason why – Mike decided to release that documentary in 2016. Remember, that was the one that LeBron said that made him the GOAT. Besides that, I think the Bucks have to get they have to get this championship this year. It, LeBron has to try to win one to solidify their legacy. I get it, but the Bucks need this to validate their franchise. If Giannis leaves, they have nobody there. And I believe that's what may be happening. If you look at Golden State now, I they're think not crazy really to a think threat. That- I think I think you're crazy to think that LeBron James, as the clock is ticking, uh, and looking into its 18th season, uh, where, where there's a chance that any moment you could get hurt as an older player, LeBron has to win. It, it's just not Milwaukee. I'm just not buying into that. L- listen, I believe. Go ahead, Joseph. Aaron, you go. Yeah, no, I was just going to say is that there is not. I'm not arguing that this isn't important for LeBron's legacy. But if the Bucks do not get to the NBA Finals, that conversation will get ramped up. We got callers who already know where he's going to go. So I'm with Joseph uh, in uh, Joseph that just called with us. 
I believe that Giannis is the guy. Really, the Bucks are the team. If they come back and they fall on their face, they are going to be the conversation going throughout the offseason. Next up, Gabe in North Carolina. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Go ahead, Gabe. What's going on? Can you guys hear me pretty good? Yes. All right, awesome. So, um, as I was saying, I think, uh, you know what, Bo- both guys have a lot to lose, honestly. Well, I guess you could say Milwaukee, man, because Milwaukee don't win this. Like one of the previous callers said, you know, John is going to bounce, and he he's definitely going to the Warriors because you know him and uh, Curry seem to be pretty good buddies, and you know uh, you just got to read between the lines. All right, I I just I'm stunned by this whole Giannis when LeBron is near the Here's end. The thing. He's Le- the guy that everybody's been talking about, and all these millennials are crying <laughs> about his legacy. LeBron has something to prove still. He's still fighting against that ghost of Michael Jordan. LeBron still has a lot to prove, but this team can continue to retool around him as they've done. If the Bucks lose Giannis, it's a lot of Glenn Big Dog Robinson and guy, you know, fringe NBA All Stars that you hope you draft. This is the only chance. This is the uh, Rob. I'm I'm almost 35 years old, which I know is still relatively young. This is the only time in my life that the Bucks have had anything resembling the best player in the NBA. The Lakers have had it three, four, five times yeah, just since the, I've been born. And the Bucks have been good, though. They had all the good players, and they've uh, had Don Nelson as a coach, and they used to be in the mix. I get to Giannis how great he is, but this is about— What decade this, was that? This po- I don't remember. <laughs> this postseason is about LeBron James and his dance with Mickey Mouse down in Orlando. All right, Marco in North Carolina, you're on the odd couple. Tell me you agree with me, the Bucks more to lose than even LeBron. How y'all doing today, fellas? Doing great. Great, Marco. Uh, I hope y'all are staying safe. Um, <clears throat> once again, Rob, I have to agree with Rob. Uh, I mean, everything, when you're dealing with the NBA, everything is evolved around LeBron James. It actually should be called the LBA, LeBron James <laughs> Association. Yes. I mean, Preach. Um, if you look at LeBron with the Lakers, he whined and cried, so he finally got AD over there Thank you. in uh, That's a L.A. And for some strange reason, the L.A. Clippers are going to be a thorn in that side. Defense wins championships. And that's something that the Lakers really don't do very well. Not but as well as the Clippers. Me, right. But to me, it's always been always about LeBron James. He's in that shadow of Michael Jordan. To me, my personal opinion He's probably about the fourth or either the fifth best player to ever probably play the game. You know, I mean, nobody even throws Kobe Bryant's name in there, and he's got five championships. So, you know, I mean, Giannis, he's a great young player. And, I mean, if he does leave Milwaukee, yeah, it'll hurt him, but – It'll uh, hurt him. It'll yeah. crush the franchise. Yeah. Thank but, you. But yeah. if LeBron, but if LeBron doesn't win this year, that's probably going to close the door, Come and on. people will be watching the aging LeBron James the last two years. Uh, watch AD play as he lumbers up and down the court. <laughs> Marco, I think, just made my point for me. He said that if LeBron doesn't get his way, he whines and cries and finds a way to get somebody else. The Bucks whining and crying isn't going to get them another player of Giannis's caliber. Max in Georgia is on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Max, what do you got? What's up, gentlemen? What's um, up, Max? Rob, love the, uh, the column. Spot on. Bottom. Thank you, buddy. Is, Appreciate it. This is just more about LeBron. I mean, the caller previously kind of stated what I was going to say. This league has been molded and shaped, cookie-cuttered, if you would, for LeBron the last few years. You look at the All-Star game. You look at giving him Team LeBron, Team LeBron. You yes. look at the rule changing, and now you look at the new league that Adam Silver's trying to put out, maybe with different playoff formats. I really hope they keep it like uh, it's been. I'd like to see him have to battle his way to the championship. And, and Rob, spot on, this is definitely about his year. If he wins it, and if he doesn't win it, he deserves to be uh, thrown to the wolves as well. There you go. All right. 